Hi, I'm Dom from Genesis, um, and I'm introducing our Valare 953 race bike um, as raced by the Madison Genesis team. So, yeah, this is a Reynolds, um, a Genesis Reynolds take on a on a road race bike, obviously using 953 steel. So, um, yeah, it could only be one material really in terms of steel. It has to be 953. We needed the strength of the metal to be able to get the wall thickness is very thin to get able to get it light and also to make it oversized to get it stiff. So kind of key features is really the tube work that's gone into it. So I think first thing you probably notice is the oversized steerer. So that means we can use a tapered steerer fork for core high speed cornering, especially for crit racing and for sort of fast descents when they're doing racing in Europe or whatever. The seat tube and the top tube are custom. So they're both swage tubes. So it starts as a 35 mil tube here and it goes down like a cone to a 31.8 mil tube here. And also for this top tube, halfway along we start to flatten it. So you've got a very wide weld area here. It's about 46 mil wide, so it wouldn't actually even weld onto a normal head tube. We had to use this big head tube to get onto this oversized tube here. So that, again, that adds to the front end stiffness. Again, the seat tube, we do the same, 35 mil here to 31.8. So we're actually using a 35 mil front mech, so it's like you'd find on a big oversized tire alloy frame, so very big for steel. But the reason we go down to the thinner tube here is to get more comfort into this key area here. Um, the other thing, uh, the, the, the sort of big aid, and I think the critical thing for racing is the BB stiffness to make it, when you pedal it shoots forward. So if I show you over here, this is a traditional steel bike or equilibrium. This is very similar to most other steel race bikes in the market. A 68 mil BB, overlies chain stays to give the clearance. Here you'll see Valare, just the actual difference in the amount of material you've got in this area. So we're using a BB85 Shimano standard. That's basically the widest bottom bracket I could find. It's a press fit system. And onto that you've got inch, so that's 25 mil round chain stays welding on here. As far apart as we could get them to resist the lateral uh, flexing of the bike. And they go round, we overlies them quickly to bypass the tyre and the chain ring and they go round again. So, super stiff put your force down it'll just shoot forward and that's kind of a key feature as well and then in terms of the sort of seat stays um, again these are as thin as we could get them so thin walls very very lightweight and it's really a combination of all these features to kind of make a really road race worthy product so yeah that's it available from the summer um, we're doing a di2 frame which will be about 2200 which is this one all internally rooted and we're doing a mechanical version of the frame for about 2100 um, yeah, so uh, there you go.